What's going on guys? Today we want to talk about how does making $250,000 per year dramatically changes your life, changes your business, changes your future of wealth development. So we got to go back in time to address this because I went through a process of increasing my income pretty quickly. And I will say within two years, I went from living in a boarding house, with prostitutes, drug addicts, crazy people, to living in my own house. And this was my income trajectory. I went from working manual labor jobs and stuff at Labor Ready, uh, Labor Force. And I went to my first job where I was making $38,500 per year, which adjusted for inflation is like rolling into a job making $60,000 today. I held on to that job for months. I didn't stay there for years. Then I went to another job where I rolled in making $60,000, which is like making $120,000. And then I rolled into the, and argumentally the best job that I've ever had in life. And this was that business environment selling brand new office furniture. My first year there, I did about 350. I should say my first and only, I did 350 there and I did 250 with my first business. And along that journey, I saw some amazing things. First thing I was able to do, I was able to pay cash for a car, not just a regular car, but a BMW M5. It was close to $70,000. So I was able to literally pay cash for a high-end car, because that's what I wanted. And my living accommodations, let's talk about that. They have changed dramatically. Remember, I used to be living in that boarding house. I went from that boarding house to actually owning two houses. And then I sold those houses and then I moved into an apartment and I'll tell you the story about that. I was living in these, I was renting my one house out and I was living in the other house. And then this was during the degradation of the YouTube, of not the YouTube business, but of the upscale garage sale business. And one of the things that happened was when my partner died, I became somewhat depressed and I sold my houses before for the recession of 2008, 2009. I just got really, really depressed. This is what's happening with the corporate citizen playbook. I had put out that this wasn't gonna be done until the end of July. Uh, that was wrong. I'm gonna get that done the end of May. So the price is gonna go up and I want you to see what's in there. We've got a lot of stuff in there. We've got some power days. We got some other stuff in there. The S, -Corp S Corporation Formation and Guidance, my hidden holding company, and this right here, corporate banking. Your holding company banking, holding company accounts, setting up your operational bank accounts, the $100,000 loan hack for your starter business, the American Express credit hack. These are things that you cannot find on YouTube. They're nowhere where to be seen. And I'm going to tell you why you can't find them on YouTube. Because I'm a technician. I'm out here doing this in real life. I'm doing this for real. So this is some information that you can't get anywhere else. And it can be literally life changing for a lot of people. So you, you're getting this information. And I'm telling you that this course is going to be done no later than may 31st maybe the first and it's going to be done and we got a lot of stuff to go in so what you want to do is go in go into the description or go to the comment section and what you want to do is go ahead and get in this course today using promo code jump j-u-m-p which will get you a massive discount and set you in the position to get everything else that i am getting ready to create as we go down this pathway of making people corporate citizens and getting to that $250,000 per year annual income. 
that's the goal that's what we're working on and there's so many things that are going to come this year that are literally going to blow your mind so what you want to do is get in like i said it's going to be done much sooner than july <laughs> it's in that we're not even going to make it to june and then june we will be doing how to make a lot of money with youtube so go ahead get in the course get the lessons because there's a lot of things for you to start working on at the moment because you know i was she was sick i was sick and i actually got rid of my houses before she died because I, I i was just in the point where i didn't want to manage anything i just didn't want to stress i didn't worry about it. so i i just really really crunked my life down but how was i able to come out of the storage auction business and literally start chasing these new pathways in life at 250,000. When I started YouTube, I had $300,000 in the bank. And what I have seen over the years is that first large sum of money has literally created this paradigm of my life. So that's what $250,000 did for me. It literally created the life that I have today because I want you to think about this. I've gone through periods of time where I had money in the bank and I had to live off that money. Like with the revamp of the YouTube channels, with the revamp of the training, I did not make money January, February, April, March, May. I just started making money. And you know, a lot of people look at every little thing I do, but they don't really look at the fact that, you know, honestly, I don't make that much money from YouTube. Uh, this month, I'll probably get two to 2,500, just depends on how the rest of the month goes. So I don't make enough money from YouTube direct to live the lifestyle that I live. And also, this is something else too. And this is one of the things that will happen. And we'll get back to how $250,000 can change your life. But because I made so much money, I had plenty of money to pay my bills. But let's talk about this. And this kind of goes back into what $250,000 per year can do for you. At the moment, I really don't have a lot of bills. Um, my BMW X5, I paid cash for it when I bought it. And let's talk about the Porsche. The Porsche 911 S Turbo. I traded in a paid off Porsche, which went a long way towards me being able to get $140,000 loan. And then I paid $105,000 of that off really quickly because I decided to let that loan sit. So I would have a $145,000 auto loan on my credit report for the future. So I know that I can walk in somewhere and finance $145,000 up to $200,000 pretty easily. And that was a business, a strategic business move. But how did I get to the point where I could pay cash for a BMW X5? How did I get to the point where I could pay cash for a Porsche? It all started with that $250,000. Because when you have $250,000 income, the doors open up to the things that you can do, to the things that you can set up. Cause you know, I kind of look around where I'm living and I look at the artwork. I look at the, I remember when I got these stormtroopers. It just, if you notice, except when I moved out that 5,000 square foot house into this place, which is like 1700 square feet, that was a period of me having to get rid of stuff. And um, I actually stayed here because I did not want to get out into the rental market or the, I didn't want to get back into the real estate market um, because it was so crazy. But now I am seeing that price cuts are all around, except for condos. Because when I went going for this condo, that turned into a bidding war. But essentially, uh, I will be leaving here. And I want you to think about this. $250,000, setting up a business, having resources, having really good credit, having money in the bank. And now that we're back, with this, we're back to making money. Um, I My expectations is I'll make a million plus between May and December. And where does this come from? Here's this little secret that no one will tell you. When you make getting money a habit, this habit will take care of you. Because, you know, when you get to that $250,000 mark, that gives you enough money to live 
Like essentially I was paying, I paid like, I believe, cause I, I had to go look at my taxes, but I paid like on 350,000, my taxes were, I have to go ahead and think about this. My taxes, my taxes were 10,000 a month between federal state and I made 350 and I paid 120,000 in taxes. So I was able to net out at 230, which is 20, about $20,000 per month, free access, accessible cash flow. And with that, and that's, this is not 250, but this is 350 because 250, you're going to probably pay, I would say 70,000 in taxes which would leave you $180,000 of free disposable cash, which means you can live on 80, $80,000 per cash flow is going to be, I think about six or 7,000. Seven is 10 times 70, be close to, close to about $10,000 per month. So you can pretty much live anywhere, including New York and California, and then you can live on the 80, then you have 100,000 to invest. And that's where the 250 is the benchmark because on my way up, I was able to pay cash for a car. I was able to do so many things. And that's why the $250,000 per year benchmark is so important because it gives you economic freedom. Even though you may be working for someone else, it gives you a certain level of economic freedom and this is the reason that I created the money management course. If you're not in the money management course, you need to get into it because this will open you up and this will set you up for so many things because that $250,000 mark is, like I said, you're gonna be paying like 70,000 in taxes, which will give you $180,000 a year of free and disposable cash, which I know for a fact that 90% of America doesn't have that kind of cash flow. 90% of America doesn't have that kind of cash flow. What this will do is set you up on the path because that the 250 just makes you rich. Now, let's go ahead and talk about how you can take that 250. Once again, you pay your taxes, you live on 80, you invest $100,000. So you invest $100,000 for 10 years. That's gonna give you a million dollar plus portfolio. And you go ahead and do this for 20 years. It's gonna give you a $2 million plus portfolio. And let's say at the end of the, cause I don't have my calculator here, but just spitballing it, you know, the longer you invest, the greater that your money works because there's a, there's, you know, the hundred thousand per year is the contribution. And then the money that the market makes is the interest. So I would say if you were put in a position where you can invest a hundred K a year for 20 years, that's going to give you 2 million, just basic contributions. I would really have to look at my calculator, but I'm going to make an estimate and I might be wrong cause I'm just spitballing this, but that's going to give you probably the $3.5 million net worth, which cause once again, 3.5 million, that makes you wealthy where you have assets that make money so you don't have to work and you can get that done in 20 years when you're investing 100K per year. Or maybe you could take that 100K a year and get a piece of real estate, which is another form of investment. Because if you're making 250, I can tell you from personal experience that when you go to the bank and you do it correctly, you can get a lot of real estate loans because you have such a high income. You could go out and probably get easily, I would say through commercial, traditional commercial, three to four properties, and then you would have to get into the alternative lending or maybe find yourself a really good credit union that will lend you money. But one of the things that will happen is if you had $100,000 per year to invest in real estate, I mean, you could start doing your own deals or once again, there's many ways to invest in real estate. You can go to Kansas, Michigan and buy houses, pay cash for them, and stick a renter into it. And you do that for 10 years. You got a million dollars worth of real estate that's cash flowing in the real estate. Let's say 100,000 house. You can, you can probably charge, let's say a thousand, maybe 1200 bucks per month. So in 10 years, you've got $12,000 per month or $144,000 
per month coming into your household. And you can do that in 10 years, 10. So this is one of the reasons that that $250,000 benchmark is so important because it opens up the door for you to create and to do more and to, I mean, I want you to think about it. If you could literally get 10 houses in say Kansas, Iowa, Michigan, and rent them out and get yourself $144,000 in annual income, and that's not gonna, that's, that's gonna be gross because you're gonna have property taxes. But let's say after all expenses and everything, you pay all your property taxes and stuff, you will be looking at probably, let's just go ahead and say $10,000 per month, which is $120,000 per year. You know what you can do? You can move to Mexico, you can move to Portugal. You are in fact could be retired. You can effectively be retired after you get your 10th house and get the runner in there. You could be retired. So this is why that, you know, the 250,000 gives you enough income to do it much, much faster because there's a lot of people and um, he's changed his name, the real estate trapper. He's changed his name to all things real. I thought that was pretty dope. But one of the things he says is the average person in real estate fails because they don't have enough money. I mean, even you can have good credit, but that's only going to carry you so far. You're going to need money. And if you had a hundred thousand dollars per year to invest in real estate, you can really, really get significantly well off. And this is one of the things let's go ahead and say you took the money that you made from the real estate and you put it back into the real estate, which would give you, let's say, you know, you're, you're buying a house, hundred K a year, you're buying a house in one of these low income areas and you're renting it out. And let's say you get to 12 houses. Let's say you get to 14 houses. I mean, you are essentially retired in a 10 year window, but the thing is you got to get to that $250,000 benchmark as quick as possible because this is the thing that opens up the door for you to become wealthy. Once again, 250 is rich and 3.5 million is wealthy. And once again, just going off one of the examples I gave you, if you had 10 pieces of real estate that were paid off, hundred thousand dollars because uh, look you can get houses for fifty seventy hundred thousand dollars in certain locations that makes you a millionaire based on the real estate and if you've got 10 renters in there paying you hundred you're rich even though my definition my standard definition is 3.5 million that knocks on the door of getting rich but the thing is you need the money the money makes such a huge difference in everything that you're going to do everything that you're gonna to try to do, everything that you're gonna to try to set up. The money makes a huge, huge difference. And so many people are trying to check out. They're not paying attention to the money. They're actually doing something a little crazy. Um, but one of the things that I want you guys to understand is you can get to that $250,000 per year. Right now, I'm literally seeing, I had lunch the other day with someone who literally started doing YouTube full-time in 2020, and he's already at that $250,000 per year mark, 23 years old, 23 years old. One of the things that you have to understand, that one of the things that you have to acknowledge is it is possible if you do the right things, and the right things are starting a business. Or once again, another path is to get as much education as you can and get into these executive ranks. You're gonna be, you're gonna have to be very well connected to get one of those jobs, but those jobs pay 250, 350, 400, 500, 600,000 a year. So there, there's ways for you to get there, but I'm telling you, once you get to that level, life changes, man. I have been driving fancy BMWs since business environments. And I've literally, you know, cause I like the X5M and I've literally gotten all kinds of comments about it. I get a lot of comments about the Porsche, get a lot of people who have things to say, kind things, nice things, but this 250 can set you up to get virtually everything you want in life. And one of the things, and this is why I set up the money management course, you need to have some money. I don't care what Grant Cardone says uh, about investing. Cause here's the thing. 80%, 85% of America doesn't make enough money to invest in anything. So his advice 
for the grand majority is false. It's just ridiculous. And, you know, Grant has been rich, multimillionaire. I think he's like 62, 63. He's been a millionaire for 30 years. So this is one of the things that happens when you get money. You just don't know what it's like to not have money. You don't know what it's like to struggle. You, you have no clue to what that is like, what that looks like. Uh, honestly, if I did not have people that I personally knew that were in the economic struggle, I, I really wouldn't know. I mean, personally, like the recession and inflation and the cost of eggs, I don't, I didn't notice it, you know, cause eggs have gone up. Does this stop me from ordering eggs when I go to the restaurant? No, I just ordered eggs. I ordered the eggs. And this is another thing. The sooner that you get to that $250,000 benchmark, it's the sooner that you will not worry about inflation. Inflation is here, baby. Inflation is going up. So if you don't wanna be worried about inflation, you don't wanna be sitting there counting how much gas you put in your car or clipping coupons so you can go shopping, you need to make more money. You need to make more money. It makes a huge, huge difference in the things that you can do, in the things that you can be, in the way that you can live. It makes a huge, huge difference. So one of the things that you want to look at is creating your business, creating your systems, and getting to that $250,000 per year. Because like I said, I had lunch with a 23-year-old kid who makes, I would say, close to $300,000 per year. He's 20 years old old this started for him in 2020 uh he's 23 so he was like 20 years old making 100k a year it is possible if you do the right things if you set yourself up and one of the things that we're getting ready to do and uh, i need to talk about this is i'm going to be finished with the corporate citizen playbook much sooner than i anticipated because i had put in there into july and actually that's not going to be the thing i'm pretty much going to get most of that done in may and then we're going to start doing the youtube training the youtube training how to set up a small youtube channel i'll tell you this i deleted the channel it's gone but when i had my disruptive cha mail channel i was getting fifteen thousand dollars per month from a channel with seven thousand subscribers and the youtube money was like two or three hundred bucks two or three hundred bucks so the majority of the money that the channel made came from a very small youtube channel and this is one of the things that we get in the training but if you want to get everything what you want to do is go below right now and get the corporate citizen playbook and if you go ahead and get in at this low price you will get everything else that i'm going to do this year use promo code jump j-u-m-p to open the door to this capacity, to these things that you can go ahead and get into and begin to build out your life. My name is Glendon Cameron, and I will see you guys in the next video.